everybody. How are you doing? Bye, teacher. Thanks. Okay, I'm happy to be here one more time. Welcome back to your English class. Uh, last time we were talking about surfing the internet. You remember? Okay, today we're going to talk about how to use the web in a more responsible way. So the topic today is responsible use of the world wide web. But let me start the class by asking a simple question. What does www stand for? Okay, www stands for World Wide Web. Everybody repeat. World Wide Web. World Wide Web. Good, excellent. Now, something that I want to lay emphasis on is that there is a confusion between internet and the web. Many people believe that the web and the internet are the same, but they are not the same. Okay, what is the difference between the web and the internet? The web is a collection of millions of pages of information. This information includes information, pictures, videos, animations, films, uh, games, children, people, sports, and thousands of millions of pages. Now, it is easy to move around the web because all pages are linked, all pages are linked through hyperlinks. So what is the internet? The internet is a massive network. All computers around the world can be connected and can communicate as long as they are connected to the internet. Now let me explain a little bit in Spanish. En la exposición les dije que el internet y la web se confunden generalmente. La web es una colección de, de todas las páginas, millones de páginas, que, se, que se, eh, la una lleva a la otra. El internet, la web, está dentro del internet. Es una parte mínima del internet. Y ahí podemos ver qué, qué tan complejo se vuelve el internet más de lo que nosotros lo conocemos, ¿ok? Now uh, that you pay attention to what I said, I'm going to ask you some questions just to remember what I said. I just want to check out if you were paying attention to me or not. Question number one is, what does the? Okay, let me erase. I need three people to respond three questions. Question number one. What does www stand for? Any volunteer? Go ahead, George. It stands for World Wide Web. It stands for World Wide Web. Excellent. World Wide Web. Second question. Uh, do I have any volunteer for the second question? Jordan. My question is, Answer true or false. The web and the internet are the same. True or false? Very false. Excuse me? That is false. That is? False. 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 Okay. That is false. That is false. The internet and the web are two separate things. Remember, okay? And my third question is... It's hard to move around the web because pages are not linked. Yes or not? That is false too. That is false too. That's right. As I said before, the internet and the web are, are not the same. So let's forget about this. People believe that they are the same, but they are not. Okay, now we're going to practice English, of course, but we're going to make a circle 
and so everybody is going to I have this egg this teddy bear this is a teddy bear this is an egg as you can see so you're going to make a circle you're going to pass the, the egg around and every student has to say something that we can find on the web voy a pasar el huevo alrededor en círculo nos vamos a sentar en círculo y cada estudiante va a decir una palabra o algo que podemos encontrar en la web do you understand? Yes. everybody clear? Yes. ok ok so let's make the circle I said action action Okay. Everybody ready? Yes. Okay, so let me think. Let's begin over here. Remember that you're going to pass the, the egg around and then the egg has to come back. Okay? Okay, let's get started. Jordan, pass the egg around. Mixture. Sound. Yo, history. Film. Pain. Melting. All kinds of material. Emits. Voices. All kinds of information. Voices. Emits. All kinds of material. Music. Games. Films. History. Jokes. Sound. Pictures. Okay, give me the egg back. Excellent. Everybody, clap your hands. As, as you mentioned, there are thousands of things we can do on the web and also on the internet. Well, as everybody mentioned, there are thousands of things we can do on the web and also on the internet. And I want to show you some behaviors and attitudes and activities that we show anytime that we saw the internet. Okay, let me show you. Activity. Responsible. Irresponsible. This is a chart. Everybody, draw the chart in your notebook, please. Our topic is responsible use of the World Wide Web. So, we're going to identify some responsible behaviors and some irresponsible behaviors using this chart. Okay. All right. Plagiarism. 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 Significa plagio. Number two, number one, number two, posting too much information, information, too much personal information, to be more specific, too much personal information on social networks such as for example Facebook Facebook make number three making denigrating Comments 
about other people number four log out log out others who have inadvertently inadvertently left left their account open and finally we got cyber bullying Cyberbullying. Okay, class, what are we going to do here? You're going to classify these activities into responsible or responsible. Now let me tell you the meanings in Spanish. Plagiarism, plagio. Como les dije anteriormente, van a clasificar estas conductas en la web determinar si son responsables o irresponsables. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer y luego vamos a revisar en conjunto. Número 2. Poner demasiada información personal en las redes sociales, por ejemplo, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. Number 3. Making denigrating comments about other people online. Hacer o escribir comentarios denigrantes sobre otras personas en línea. Number four, eh, cerrar a otras personas quienes dejaron accidentalmente su cuenta abierta. Vamos a ver si es, eso es responsable o responsable. Y número cinco, el cyberbullying. Que ya sabemos todos de qué se trata el cyberbullying. Ok. Plagiarism. Is it responsible or irresponsible? Sorry? Irresponsible. Okay, responsible. Plagiarism, responsible. No. Plagiarism is not here. El plagio no es una actitud responsable. Pareciera, pero no. El plagio es un crimen pequeño, no podemos copiar las ideas de, otra, de otros autores, de otras personas y hacerlas como que son de nosotros. El plagio es, a veces hasta puede ser ilegal, plagio irresponsible, so please make corrections. Plagiarism is an irresponsible behavior. Number two, posting too much personal information on social networks such as Facebook and Twitter. Is it responsible or irresponsible? Irresponsible. Louder, louder. Irresponsible. Good. This is irresponsible. No podemos poner demasiada información en las redes. Solamente puntos clave. Number three. Making denigrating comments about other people online on the web. Responsible or irresponsible? Irresponsible. Okay, very good. Log out others who have inadvertently left their accounts open. Cerrar la cuenta de otras personas que accidentalmente la dejaron abierta. Is it responsible or res irresponsible? Sorry. Good. This is a good behavior. This is a good action. And number five, cyberbullying. Tell me. Irresponsible. Irresponsible. Okay. Everybody clear? Everybody clear? No questions? Okay. Now, let me erase here because we're going to practice extra vocabulary. In our lesson today, we're going to focus on idiomatic expressions. Why? Idiomatic expressions are very important, believe it or not, because 
they help us understand English much better and communicate in English in a more natural way. So, the expressions. These are very, very common expressions. So everybody take notes of this and I will explain one by one. Number one, expression number one. To want to is to be able to. Querer es poder. To want to is to be able to. In this case, you have to memorize this phrase. Number two. To speak one's mind. No tener pelos en la lengua. To speak one's mind. No tener pelos en la lengua. Estas son expresiones que nosotros a veces las traducimos literalmente, pero en inglés son diferentes. ¿Qué debemos de hacer? Memorizarla y aprender cómo se usan. Les voy a poner un ejemplo con, cada, con algunas de ellas. Speak one's mind. For example, yo no tengo pelos en la lengua. If you say, I don't have hair on my tongue. Esta es una traducción muy literal de español a inglés y está mala. No existe. Una persona extranjera no le va a entender qué están diciendo. Ya existe la expresión adecuada en inglés que sería speak one's mind. Como digo, no tengo pelos en la lengua. Voy a usar esta frase. I, estoy hablando de yo, I speak my mind. Yo no tengo pelos. Estamos hablando de un lenguaje popular. No tengo pelos en la lengua. Quiere decir que digo lo que pienso. Soy muy demasiado franco. I speak my mind. You have to memorize this phrase. I speak my mind. I speak my mind. No tengo pelos en la lengua. En esta partecita mucha gente se confunde. Once. Aquí hay que conjugar con un adjetivo posesivo. My. Your. His, her. En este caso estoy hablando de yo, digo my. My. I speak my mind. Number three. Number three. Be fed up. Estar harto. Harto no de hambre. Harto cuando uno pierde la paciencia sobre alguna situación. Be fed up. Be fed up. Por ejemplo, estoy harto del perro de mi vecino. I'm fed up. ¿De dónde salió este am? Salió del verbo be. I am fed up with o estoy harto de esta situación. I am fed up with this situation. Estoy harto de esta situación. Everybody got it? Everybody understands? Number four. It's up to you. It's up to you. This is very, very common. It's up to you. Depende de ti. Tenemos que memorizarla. It's up to you. It's up to you. Number five. Feel blue. Sentirse triste. Feel blue. ¿Cómo digo me siento triste utilizando esa frase? I feel blue. No es, una, no, no es un significado literal, me siento azul. No, me siento triste. Eso es lo que la gente entiende. I feel blue. I feel blue. 
I feel blue. Me siento triste. Oh, yo le puedo decir a alguien, te veo triste. Te miras triste. You look. You look blue. Te ves triste. You look blue. Te ves triste. Number six. Cost an arm, arm and a leg. Cost an arm and a leg. Costar un ojo de la cara. Decimos en español, en inglés, cost an arm and a leg. ¿Vieron la gran diferencia? Nada que ver con ojo en español. En inglés utilizamos brazo y pierna. Cost an arm and a leg. ¿Qué significa costar un ojo en la cara? Caro. Caro. Costar mucho dinero. ¿Qué puedo decir? Ok. My lap, my tablet costs an arm en the leg. Mi tableta cuesta un ojo de la cara. My tablet costs an arm and a leg. Next. Number seven. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Fácil. English is piece of cake. Yes or not? Yes. yes. Spanish is Piece of cake, yes or not? Pan comido, popularmente decimos pan comido. Spanish is piece of cake. Spanish is piece of cake. One more. You scratch, scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Esta expresión significa hoy por mí, mañana por ti. Hoy por mí, mañana por ti. Hoy necesito un favor yo, mañana puede ser vos. O mañana puede ser usted. Hoy por ti, mañana por ti. No pueden decir now for you, now no. Eso sería trasladar literalmente español a inglés. Ya existe la frase determinada. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. ¿Qué significa? Louder, louder. ¿Qué significa? Ok. Number nine. The devil looks after himself. Muy popular. Hierba mala nunca muere. The devil, en inglés, hablamos del diablo. En español mencionamos hierba. Nada que ver. Tenemos que memorizarla. We have to memorize this phrase. The devil looks after himself. ¿Qué significa? Louder. Hierba mala. Se le está olvidando el español. Hierba mala nunca muere. Hierba mala nunca muere. Ok, we're gonna do just one more and, and I finish this part. Number 10. I'm between the devil and the deep. Can everybody see well? Can everybody see well? In the deep blue sea. Como ya no tengo espacio, copien el significado. Estar, estoy entre la espada y la pared. En inglés se dice, I'm between the devil 
in the deep blue sea. Si buscamos en ningún lado aparece la palabra pared. Nada que ver. Es una expresión que ya está construida y simplemente la tengo que memorizar. Una característica de las expresiones es que las tenemos que memorizar generalmente porque ya, ya están construidas. Ok, everybody. Listen and repeat. To want to, to is to be able to, be able to speak, speak one's one mind. mind. I speak my mind. I speak my mind. No tengo pelos en la lengua, everybody. I speak my mind. Ok. Be fed up. Be fed up. Be fed up. Be fed up. I'm, fed up I'm fed up with this situation. With this situation. It's, up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. Feel blue. Feel blue. Feel blue. Feel blue. I feel blue. I feel blue. You look blue. You look blue. Cost an arm and a leg. Cost an arm and a leg. Cost an arm and a leg. My and tablet. Costs an arm and a leg. Piece of cake. Pan comido en español. Piece of cake. Fácil. English. Sorry. Spanish is piece of cake. You scratch my back. Louder, louder. You scratch my back. And I'll scratch yours. And I'll scratch yours. The devil. The devil. Looks after himself. The devil. Looks after himself. I'm between the devil. And the deep. Blue, blue sea. sea. ¿Qué significa? Estoy, everybody, estoy entre la espada y la pared. Ok, class. This is it for today. Your homework is, tu tarea, your homework is, you're going to choose, choose five expressions and write sentences. Me van a seleccionar cinco expresiones de las que le acabo de dar y van a crear cinco ejemplos, cinco oraciones utilizando esas expresiones. Ok, so what did we learn today? We learned the difference between the web and the internet because there was a confusion, now everybody is clear. And we also learned some useful and common expressions in English. Well, class, that's it for today, and see you next time. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands. That's it. You can pack your stuff and go home. Thank you very much. <laughs>